This is Chris Alley with Remax with your October 2021 Richmond real estate market update. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. My name is Chris Elliott over at the Elliott Real Estate Team, brokered by Remax Action with your market update. Super excited to be delivering this information to you. Jumping right into it. So the first stat that what I was looking at, kind of thought this was crazy. We finally got the numbers in. Year over year price appreciation from July of 2020 to July of 2021 was 19%, which is absolutely insane. Uh, you know, if you know that historic appreciation levels for real estate is about two to three percent per year, so we're uh, at 19 percent, which is absolutely nuts. That being said, I will reference a quote from Ivy Zellman that home price appreciation is on the cusp of flipping to deceleration. Now, when I say that, everybody starts to freak out. Oh my gosh, this is the end of the real estate market, the bubble's about to burst, uh, we're about to see values tank. Uh, and we have to define the difference between deceleration and depreciation. So depreciation is when home prices actually come down. What we are starting to experience is deceleration, which essentially means that the rate at which homes are appreciating is slowing down, but we are not going backwards. So we've kind of hit a plateau. Uh, the, uh, the analogy that I can give you, if you're going down the highway and you were traveling at 90 miles an hour and then you saw a, a wreck or you saw a cop or, or there was traffic and you started decelerating to about 60 miles an hour, realize that you're going at a slower rate, but you're still moving forward. Whereas depreciation would be literally the car starts going backwards, which I absolutely don't recommend on the highway. So deceleration versus depreciation, very important to understand. If we look at the home price appreciation forecast through 2025, as you could see, the rate of home appreciation is gonna slow down. We're gonna see about 5% next year and then about 3% for the next couple of years thereafter. Uh, but we are still gonna be going forward on home prices and we are not going backwards, which is very good news for anybody buying a home or anybody that owns a home to know that your asset is not gonna be going down in value. Uh, very important to point out too, um, even with the slowdown in uh, appreciation, you should still recognize, this is a, a pretty cool graphic that we saw. If somebody were to buy a home at the beginning of 2021 at the median home price point for uh, Richmond was about 350,000. If we look at the home price appreciation forecast through 2026, that, uh, that individual, that couple, that family, uh, will be gaining about $111,000 in home price appreciation. Just shows you the wealth that home ownership can build uh, and the advantage that homeowners are at as opposed to renters uh, and the value of home ownership. So very, very powerful. Uh, also just wanna to touch on real quick, the projected mortgage rate, mortgage rate increases that we are uh, projected to see over the next 12 months. Uh, as you can see, it kind of breaks that down. Looks like we're gonna be going about one basis point up uh, per quarter over the next year. Uh, so just realize that uh, if you're somebody that has been thinking about financing, refinancing, if you've been on the fence, I'd recommend go ahead, going ahead and doing that now. If you're somebody that's uh, kind of waiting for the, the market to cool down to buy, uh, just consider that home prices are really not set to go down and that uh, mortgage rates are also gonna get much more expensive. Um, so therefore waiting will cost you. So something relevant to keep in mind. So what does this all mean to you for sellers? Uh, with all this being said, realize we are still very much in a seller's market. Looking back uh, in the month of August, we're waiting on September's numbers. Uh, the Richmond Metro market was at 0.8 months supply of inventory. Anything below six months supply of inventory is considered a seller's market. So we're still very much in a seller's market. We're still seeing where properties are selling at good prices. We're just not at the pandemonium that we were earlier this year uh, with the market being as nuts. Uh, realizing that pricing matters again. So there was a little, uh, there was kind of a window of time beginning this year where pricing really didn't matter. Uh, kind of all caution was thrown in the wind, but realize that if you overprice yourself in this market, we're not seeing where buyers are just gonna jump up and, and you know offer you their first born uh, to buy your house. There's more inventory that's on the market. Homes are still selling at really good prices. We've still gained a lot as far as price. Uh, but pricing appropriately matters. Making sure your home is priced at fair market value is still recommended. And then also understand marketing matters. So once again, we kind of went through a period of time there where marketing didn't matter. Uh, you didn't need professional photos. You didn't need a stage. You didn't really need to do much. Uh, you know, people were buying properties off market. It was just kind of nuts. Uh, but realize the fundamentals of marketing uh, apply again. So having good photos, having good video, staging a property, exposing the property to the most amount of buyers, all of that matters again, if your goal is to get top price uh, for your property. 
for buyers. Uh, realize that prices are slowing down, but they're not coming down. So we already kind of discussed this. If you are waiting for prices to, to, to come down, you're going to be waiting for a while. And I think you're going to be sorely disappointed uh, because no real estate economist, no expert is predicting that real estate prices are going to come down. The rate at which they're growing is just going to slow down, if that makes sense. Uh, that being said, realize that frenzy has died down. So we know a lot of buyers kind of took themselves out of the market, uh, just sidelined themselves because you know homes were getting 10, 15, 20 offers. People were offering up to $100,000 over asking price. I recently saw one that closed a little bit ago that uh, somebody offered 250,000 over asking price. We are not seeing the craziness that we saw this year. It's still a competitive market. You're still gonna have to make a good offer. You're just not gonna have to make the crazy offers that you had to make uh, earlier this year. So if you were somebody that kind of took yourself out of the game, so to speak, uh, earlier this year because it was too nuts, just realize uh, the tide has turned a little bit and it's a great time to buy right now if you can find what you're looking for. And then just understand that waiting will cost you. So I'm a firm believer that if it's not a right time for you personally, financially, for, for other reasons to buy, don't buy a home. But if you are just somebody that is just kind of waiting for, for timing, um, just realize that waiting is going to cost you. So if you can find a home that, that meets your needs right now, I'd recommend going ahead and buying it. Uh, we're, like I said, we're gonna see mortgage rates tick up, we're gonna see prices continue to tick up. So the longer you wait, the more expensive it will get. So. Hope all that made sense. I hope you found value in that. If you have any additional questions, shoot me a DM, throw it in the comments. If you disagree, shoot me a DM, throw it in the comments. I appreciate your attention, appreciate you tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next month. Hey, thanks for checking out our market update video. If you'd like to see more of our content, you can check out another video below. You can also subscribe to our channel and make sure that you see all of our new videos. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. We look forward to bringing you more value.